You're watching Chewing the Cut with my Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. Hello, you lovely people at home. Mike, what do you think of our new Luke? I'm loving it. It's nice, isn't it's it? Different, it's unusual. Yeah. yeah, there's some accoutrements on the uh -huh. shelves. Yeah, I've noticed something a bit raunchy happening behind your head, though. I, I don't mind. You don't mind? As long as they're safe. OK. This week from the web, I'm bringing you an extreme example of an Insta filter. Mm -hmm. And I have some showbiz news about someone who's been forced to leave their home. Not forgetting, later in the show, Mike will be donning his white coat and saying, That science, that is. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> on screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, it's at the Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The Could.tv is our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And remember to leave us a message or comment while you are there. Some breaking news. Bumblebees briefly buzz beneath the bins of beans while feeling ill or feeling well. Phil will hardly ever tell and feeling full. Phyllis didn't eat a bit of the beets. Trina, who tripped on the tree root and really ripped her raincoat. She sells slippers, sleepers and tiny little creepers as tins of tiny sardines filled the field. More on that story later, but Mike, I want to know if you can, can, can or can't, can, can. You want to see me kick my legs in the air so you can see my flowery bloomers? Well, I wasn't proposing you paint me like one of your French girls. That's a Titanic reference. No. Nothing. Well, that went down just as well as the Titanic. Let's play. Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today, as he's doing his bit for local charities. He's been in the high street shaking his box at people to encourage them to slip a little something inside. He said his favourite spot is hanging around Five Guys, where he's within easy reach of the Jolly Sailor, has boots right in front of him, and can get to home base in under 60 seconds. And after a successful day chugging his bucket, he empties his load for cancer research, and even has a small deposit left for his local Chelsea pensioners but we think he got the wrong idea when he went out collecting for Save the Children as he came back with a bucket load of these. Dildo jokes, Mike. Dildo jokes. Is, that, is this the level? Is this, is this the level? Yeah, um, you've seen the show before, right? <laughs> Let's just pop this on the shelf, much like you, Lee, and get on with the game. This week, we're going to play Foley Folly. So off you trot, Lee. Come on. Can I just take that with no. me? No, no, okay. No. While Lee gets himself prepared, I'll explain. Lee has to take the role of a sound engineer to provide some of the sound effects for some special interest films we've been watching with the volume turned really low down. I have to try and work out what the heck he's portraying. Are you ready? Put the fluffer down, he's mine. <sighs> oh, are we starting? Shall yeah, we start? Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. okay, right, so first one. Uh huh. Good eye. Oh, good eye. Gay kangaroo. Not necessarily gay. An LGBTQI plus kangaroo. Well, because, you know, straight people can be this as well. Not often, but... Oh, hi. Not Mae West. <laughs> Come up and see me sometime. Ow. Ow. <laughs> um, <laughs> camp. Oh, camp. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, okay, next one. We're still still on the animal spectrum. Okay. Um, Boo! <laughs> What's that? A really cold horse. No. Okay. No. Um, Oh, I don't like that. No. No. Do you give up? I have to give up. That's an elephant being scared by a mouse. That's his trunk. Okay. Mouse. Oh, right. Okay. I just thought it was squeaky. No, no. Okay. 
think they're all animal related. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the king of the jungle. Why have I gone a bit <laughs> like um <laughs> Tommy Cooper? Ooh. That's, uh, that's magic. <laughs> it's a lion. But <laughs> a lion with giggles. Oh okay. What was this? <laughs> Giggling. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one. There's two of us, right, okay. in this relationship. Um, what about that? What about that pass? It's all right. I hope he scores a goal. Me too. Wink. And then I'm done, I think, really. <laughs> Pig's watching football. It is. That was more luck than skill. Well, okay. They, they, they seem to be all animal themed today. You've said that, yeah. Mm. Okay, the next one. Mm -hmm. S I need some s sausages and s some salmon. It's gone him again, hasn't it? It's gone, ooh. <laughs> um, just it's gone him again. Away. Don't get too close, I'll bite you. Ooh, what else do I need? Salmon. I need some. S <laughs> Just to stop whatever that thought process was, really. <laughs> um, a snake doing its food shopping? Yes. Oh. It is. Yes, 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 yes. I think we've had this one before. Mark! Mark! I hope. Oh! I hope you've put some lubricant on that. That's where my eggs come from. Wow! I hope you put some lubricant on that. That's where my eggs come from. My eggs. Okay. <laughs> Is someone f chicken? Well, chickens don't go whack. <laughs> that was the noise I made. <laughs> right, okay. So what animal's making that noise? Because I cannot think of a single no animal that thinks of those noises. It's a duck being <laughs> did. Oh, right, okay. You, you should have known that one. I don't often fist a duck. Don't skip. Um, well, we did, we've already done a lion one. Okay. Okay. Next one. He did that with the lady, and now he has no more jobs. And now for the weather. A disgraced politician? No. <sighs> Today, in the weather, and <laughs> this is this is not attractive for me, is it? Really? it it's not making any sense either. I, I'm giving up officially. It's a baby reading the news. Right. Okay. I thought that was fairly explanatory. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. Ooh. <laughs> Losing your virginity. No. Doing butt stuff for the first time. No. Ah. No. Oh, I didn't think it'd stay up there. Definitely doing butt stuff for the first time. No. I might have to, if I, if I can't get out with a finger, I might have to go and, <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to go to the hospital. Losing something up you when you're doing butt stuff for the first time. In a way, yes. But we need to be more specific. Didn't look as big when I ordered it off the internet. Said average sized. But I tell you, it's turned my brown eye blue. Oh, no. It's turned my blue eye brown. Brown eye brown. One of those. Um, cucumbers? No. Light bulbs. No, we're not going through a list of things you've inserted up. A rugby team. I'm, I'm ending this. It's a man with a dildo stuck up his chest. Well, still to come, we have... That science, that is. And just after the break, it's Lee with the Showbiz News. Yeah. 
You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Let's see what he's got in store for us this week as Lee brings us the showbiz news. I feel like there was something missing there, Mike. Really? I feel like there was an insult or a, or a pithy comment. You, you wanted a pithy comment? Yeah, um, that's what I've been used to. That's what I've, I've trained myself to expect. <laughs> when it's not there, it leaves me hollow. I, I'm sure I'll, I'll put a pith in you at some point. Oh, lovely. Mm. Shall we have a bit of showbiz news? Let's have a bit. <laughs> Let's talk about Luke Evans. Let's. Luke Evans and spiders. Uh, okay. It's niche. It's very niche. That's a niche it's film. A, it's a very specialist DVD. Well, um, he has been Luke Evans... He has been in Australia. Oh. He has been filming. We've got a picture of him just kicking back and relaxing in Australia. Um, you know, he's got his, got his chesticles out. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Quite picture. happy with that. Um, he, I, think, I think he needs to apply some sun cream. Perhaps he has. Uh, or I need to apply some sun cream. Sun cream. To oh, with your mouth. To well, a certain area. I'm going to use my mouth, but okay. Okay. And well, three. So, Luke Evans has been filming in Australia. Yeah. Finished the day's filming. Goes back to his hotel room, mm -hmm. opens the door, giant spider sat waiting for him. Was hoping you'd say stripper there. No, he said he said size of his face. Okay. Spider was the size of his face, just sat waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> On the chair. With a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Reading a magazine. Just stroking a cat. Ah, um, we meet again, Mr. Evans. <laughs> <laughs> the horrible look at the mic. I know what? it's nature, blah de blah de blah. Yeah, it's just because it's using pincers, so it's just holding on there. It needs destroying. So he was talking about this in Alan Carr's podcast. Okay. And and he was saying that um, these are quite aggressive spiders. So you kind of walk towards them and they rear back. They they're get gonna... ready to pounce, yeah. If you're approaching Pounce, them. Mike, pounce. Yes. Yeah. If you're approaching them, they're going to go, oh, watching you. Pouncing. We're not mincing. That's fine. <laughs> Mincing spiders, so if, we if, like if those. They go, if they go oh, back, no. if they go back and go, oh, I'm going to get you. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is absolutely fine. Don't don't be ready to. So yeah, so he did what every other self-respecting person does in that situation. Hit it with the broom. Now he phoned for housekeeping to remove it. So she came up and just went, "It's just a spider." Yeah, it's only off. And and oh, this isn't the actual spider. This is just no. a general picture. Hmm. Um. So she picked it up by its leg. Uh -huh. They've got eight, but just one leg. Yeah, you don't need to hold all eight. And it's it, like it's going to get lost. It must have wriggled or taken her arm off and she dropped it. <laughs> Give her a slap from her face. <laughs> and it ran off. And they didn't know where it was going, so they couldn't find it. Okay. So he just went, I'm going to need a, I'm gonna need a new hotel. <laughs> <laughs> this one I'm setting on fire. No, he actually just asked for another room. Okay. I would ask for another, I would ask for another continent. See, no, that would have been a boy spider though. Huh? Because it didn't attack. She picked it up and it was like, oh, yeah, all right, okay, fine. It's the lady spiders that are the vicious ones. Ooh. Just to look after the eggs. Oh, uh, just in general, not a good thing. Huh? Not a good thing. I would. Would you have? Would you have stayed in that room, yeah. or would you have asked for another room? I'd have stayed in that room. Okay. It's a spider. It's a huge spider the size of his face. Which means I'm, I'm going to see it coming at me, aren't I? Oh, you've not seen arachnophobia. You don't know. I have seen You don't arachnophobia. know what they do. They do. They lay eggs on you <laughs> and stuff. Oh. Anyway, he's back in England Only now. the ladies do that, though. Oh, I, I don't care. Boy spiders I, don't lay eggs on you. Just burn them all. Burn them all. He's back in England now, and we only have tiny spiders, apart from the ones that live in my garage, which are giant. Um, they're not. They're normal sized spiders. They're huge huntsman spiders. You do not have huntsman spiders living in a temperate climate in your garage. We're not. We're not getting into this argument again. No, because Preston is not one, the same it's coming as Australia. In next week. Okay, bring it in next week. Gonna, I'm sending it in to do my job next week. Oh, okay. Just to prove. That's right. We'll pay it less as well. Ooh, let's move on to something a little more light-hearted. Okay. Sesame Street. Okay. It's been going for about a million years. Since time began. Since you were born, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> About 40, 50 years. Yeah. And in all that time, they've never actually had or featured an actual LGBTQI family. All right. Until now. Oh. So Sesame Street have introduced... Um, it, it, they introduced it for, family, for the Family Day episode. Um, but this family are going to kind of stay around and be in and okay. out of, of, of stories. <laughs> so they're, they're going to be allowed to come back next week? Yeah, they might not come back every week. 
Uh, okay. You know, because they don't feature the same people every week in Sesame Street. Do they not? I don't know. I haven't watched it for many years. But I'm assuming that they'll be like, oh, it's it's um, it's the one that lives in a bin turn this week. Um, it's the one that talks in an annoying voice. Okay. That's basically the show. One that lives in a bin. <laughs> one that has an annoying voice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's, gonna, there's, there's two gay dads mm -hmm. and their daughter. Okay. Um, and um, so she, the, the little girl's called Nina. And there's Dave and there's Frank. Um, and this picture of the meeting. I, the thing that struck me about this photograph was Big Bird. Mm -hmm. He's getting older. Yeah, age happens. Yeah, but look at the other ones. Yeah. The annoying Elmo thing, that's not got older. Oh, it has. Has it? It's got, it's he's got, got a low voice. No, 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 he's still, he's still Elmo. His testicles are low, lower. No, he's just got older. He's oh. just not got visibly grey hair. Oh, okay. Because okay. he, was, he was very young when. Big Bird was old. Okay. So, you know, age. Okay. All right. Okay. I thought it was quite cute. That they, that's what, yeah. that's what they've done. Up. Big Bird. Yeah. Also given them fabulous glasses. They have given, yeah. So so they're, they're part of now the, the Sesame Street family. It's not the first time that um, Sesame Street has kind of spoken about LGBTQIA. They've had, you know when they do like the celebrities have the celebrities come on and they do like a yeah, little yeah. song with a thing. So they've had Lil Nas X. I would mm -hmm. have liked to have seen that. Sesame Street and Little Nas X. I don't think it was that kind of show. Oh. I think it was just like kids' TV. Him, him being nice. Yeah, nice. Not really Yeah, yeah. Um, they've had Ellen DeGeneres on. They've had um, uh, Billy Porter. So they've had lots of different people. Mm -hmm. Even back in 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 my youth, mm -hmm. um, Bert and Ernie. I always assumed. Yeah, I thought that they Bert were and together. Were definitely gay. We've we've got a picture of Bert and Ernie here. Not. Doing anything, you know. Um, <laughs> it's just a little bit of light fisting. <laughs> with that rubber duck. Um, well, no, because they've got someone with the hand. They're puppets. They do, yes, yeah. Do you, so from one bizarre ending <laughs> link <laughs> yeah. to the start of another one. Do you, do you have a middle nine, Mike? I do have a middle nine, yeah. And a middle nine. A middle nine. <laughs> a middle nine. <laughs> what is it? Is it something nice? Edward. 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 Mike Edward. Benny and Row. No, Michael James Edward Benny and Row. Michael James Edward Benny. Yeah, and a double barrel, double barrel. Names, isn't it? Mine mm -hmm. is Falula. <laughs> Banana hammock. Uh huh. Crap bag. Okay. Was an, it's not. That was a friend's reference. <laughs> was it? Okay. Um, uh, I mine is Lee Thomas Paul. I had to pick um, a religious name. Thomas Paul. Well, Thomas was my grandfather's name. It's also a religious name. Is it? Yeah. But then when we did the confirmation thing, mm -hmm. you had to go through the Bible and choose another name. Another name. I wasn't obviously wasn't thinking uh, Paul. It's at least you didn't call yourself John Thomas. That was my first choice. Um <laughs> it's my, often my first choice too. It's, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> celebrities, they like they like to have an unusual middle name. Mm -hmm. And we've got some celebrity rules. Because you can't have the same name as somebody else that's also an actor. Oh yeah, you've got to, you and, and bands they do the same thing as well, don't they? Uh -huh. So um, celebrities have got some some celebrities who have unusual middle names. Okay. So first up, we've got Macaulay Culkin. Uh huh. Okay. Now Macaulay Culkin, a couple of years ago, about 2018, he put on social media he wanted his fans to think of a middle name for him. Okay. So the fans came up with really sensible things. So they came up with things like Shark Week, Macaulay Shark Week Culkin. <laughs> oh, if they got Boaty with Boatface, because that would be amazing. <laughs> the, what, the one that I like is Macaulay the McRib is back Culkin. <laughs> he he didn't he, he didn't go for those. He went for Macaulay Culkin. So he's actually called Macaulay Macaulay Culkin Culkin. Okay. That and and that he's changed that by by deed poll. Wow, that's and a choice. He, yeah, it is. It is a choice. Joseph Fiennes, the actor, the lovely Joseph Fiennes from um, Handmaiden's Tale. Mm -hmm. which and other things of. too. He's and other things. The one thing. Um, his his middle name. His middle name is Joseph Alberic Twistleton Wycombe Fines. Mm, I'll Twistleton him. <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? Oh, well, well, yeah. Well, um, sure so so before. he <laughs> his some of it is kind of family tradition. Okay, like the surname. Yes. Yeah. Double barrowed. Double barrowed. Double barrowed. Or you'd be a farmer, you would not got a double, you've got double barrow surname. Barrowed. <laughs> um, but the, the the middle name is also Al Alberic means elf or magical being. In what language? In in, in high German. 
Ah. Mm. Unusual. Yeah. Um, Elton oh, John. What do, we, what do we think Elton John would have? Elton John. Um, Flula. No. Trixie no. Bell. No, he's, 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 you know, he's gone for something quite... <laughs> it's Hercules. Elton Hercules John. Hercules. Hercules. Because now I do have that in my head. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Um, yeah, he's, cho- he's chosen Hercules as his middle name. Hercules, Hercules. Um, because that's Butch and Mask. It, yeah, it is. He, well, that's why he chose it. Because obviously he chose it before that film came out. Right, okay. So he chose Hercules because, it, it, you know, it's the name um, of, of somebody strong. It's also apparently the name of the horse in, in, in Step to and Son. That's, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Thank you very much for that, Lee. Always nice to know that not everybody's got a daft name like Lee. Coming soon, we'll have that science, that is. But before that, we have Mike with the buzz. You are watching Chewing the Cud with Mike and Lee. And now it's Mike in the buzz. So I've been thumbing through the internet this week. Thumbing through, well, it's flicking really I've been doing, isn't it? Flicking. Flicking. Thumbing no, is more thumbing. that. Yeah. Yeah. Flicking. Right. Like yellow pages. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, you love Instagram. Uh, I, I don't say I love it, but I use it. So you're always on it. It's with, with uh, cameras like this. Yeah, but on the scheme of, of social media, Instagram is like the third one. If okay. it went, I wouldn't be sad. Would you not? No. That's interesting. It is, isn't it? Do you use the filters that are on there then? I don't know how to use the filters on on um, Instagram. So after you've just taken a photo, you don't click the button that says filters. No, because my beauty is natural. No, it's not. I'm transcendent. Once again, I've seen your photos. <laughs> so rude. The amount of Vaseline you use. Get a very dry skin. <laughs> use it on the camera though. <laughs> <It's not> even... <laughs> <laughs> just to lube up my face. The beauty slides off. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it these days? My beauty slides off. <laughs> well, uh, well, one gentleman has spent over £130,000 to make himself look like his Instagram photo. Okay. Okay. Like a, like a cat. So, like a, yes, like a cat. It's got a cat filter. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like no. a cat filter. No. Um, so this gentleman who's called Anise Malik... Yeah. Okay. And that's his before photo you can see on there. Doesn't look out wrong with him there. No, no out wrong with him. Oh, it went right. No, <laughs> no, you did. All right. I, I came along with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, perfectly respectable looking chap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Decided that he keeps putting the same filter on okay. on Instagram all the time, and and decided he wanted to look like the photos he was posting, rather than people going, "Oh, you don't look anything like your photos. Let me look like my photos." Who are you? Yeah. What are you doing? Get out with bins. <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> um, would you like to see him post-surgery? Oh, I would, Mike. Okay. I want to that's, see what that money is. That's before. Okay. And that's his after. <sighs> well, to be fair, it's mm-hmm. not It's not as extreme as I was expecting. He's got the duck pout that uh-huh. many people have. Yeah. It's a little bit bog-eyed. Um, I said, I but I don't know that's just the, the angle. Yeah. Um... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no? Now, what's, what's going on with that chin? That's his chin. He said it like filed four. and pointed. No, he's got one. It's just very, very pointy. I don't like it. it the, people have all become like this, have the same face now. Yeah. It's just the same face. It's not exactly the same face. Well, it's just, it is, it's like the same face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the very same face, but different. But, but with the same features, with the big... F- Big lips, lips and yeah. chinny chin mm-hmm. and a chinny chin <laughs> <laughs> and, and the cheekies, the the cheeky weeks, the, the cheeks, cheeky weeks and the chinny chin. I mean, again, your body, your choice. You do what you want with it, and that's all I'm going to say. One hundred and thirty thousand pound well spent or not? If it's his money. Mm-hmm. That's fine. <laughs> or if it's someone who's robbed down the street. If it's, yeah, that's <laughs> if it's stolen okay. it from his grandma, it's not good. Take it out of the post office. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving on. Um, 
you've been jabbed now. Uh, you are COVID jabbed. Oh, yes, I'm a double. You're a double. I'm, I'm a, double, a double. Double. Yeah. But not everybody has had their jabs. No. Right? How, how do you think we could get more people to get jabbed? Offer them money. <laughs> money. Well, Washington State has thought about that and thought, hmm, maybe we could do something different. And so have launched a new programme, which they're calling Joints for Jabs. Joints. Oh. Of marijuana. Oh, oh. So if you go and get your first or second jab, mm -hmm. yeah, up until the 30th of July, the Washington State will give you a pre-rolled doobie. A doobie? Doobie. Yes. <laughs> a joint. A joint. Yes. Um, a I, I, I'm, cigarette. <laughs> I'm assuming it's legal. It is legal to from a specific places. Oh, So it has, okay. you have to be, um, it's like alcohol. Yeah, you have to be licensed to sell it. And so these people are giving away them at and, license. And have, uh, has that been a huge success? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> they've actually had 44% of so like the, the state. 44 back. million people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the state's only got 15 million, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people having the eighth jabs. Um, yeah. <laughs> but they've had a 44% uptake on what it compared to the 40% that the rest of the US has had. But what does it say about humanity, Mike? What does it say? We love a freebie. You know, it's you shouldn't be offered stuff to go and have a, a vaccination that's going to save your life. You shouldn't. But on the on the flip side, if but on the other hand, if I need you, TV. If, if, <laughs> <laughs> well, some some states have done lotteries. Okay. Right, where if you got jabs, you put in like a raffle, basically. I've heard in Australia they were giving tinnies away. Yeah, yeah. Beer's been given away in Australia. <laughs> Crikey! Yeah. That's very Australian, isn't it? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. No, no, not your accent. No, my accent. The, no, the actual yeah. idea that you're giving away booze to, to get people vaccinated. Is it what we've come to, Mike? Is this what is this what the world has come to? Yes. We will get come and have an in, come and have a vaccination that has wiped the world out, but only if wiped we give, the world out. Well, it's you know put the world in on its knees. The vaccination. No, the virus has. Right, okay. And then we've got to persuade people <laughs> to have the vaccination by giving right. them something yeah. free. Why not? Who doesn't love a freebie? Do you know what I'd give them? A backhander. I'd be going round and... <laughs> <laughs> so no, we've gone from, from joint to beer to a hand job. No, a backhander to the back of the head. <laughs> Get in there and have oh, your a vaccination. Slap the vaccination. Yeah, right, okay. Not a, not a back... <laughs> not a... <laughs> Not a hand shandy. Yeah. No. Yes. We're not condoning violence, though, are we? No. But, I, you know... Which I is can't... why you're not in charge of anything, <laughs> to be fair. Um, shall we move on from the Oh, violence? please, because I'm, I'm raging. You're raging. Mm. Well, I've got some good news for you. Have you? Right. There's a new crisp flavour out. Is there? Yes. Now, look at that. Oh, lies lit up. Doritos. Fan of Doritos? I am. Yeah. They're triangle, aren't they? They're triangle. They yeah. are, indeed, yes. Yeah. Well, the good news is they've brought out a new flavour. Well, they're bringing out a new flavour. It's not yet hit the shelves. And that is the flavour of strawberries and cream Doritos. Filth. Filth? Get in the bin. Why get in the bin? Because <sighs> sweet and uh -huh. savoury. Works. No, it doesn't. It works. It, it does doesn't. work. It doesn't. And I think we, there's only one way we can prove this to Have you. Have you got some? Well, no, because they're not on sale yet. I'm not putting a Dorito in my mouth and then a strawberry no, mushing it going No, you're not going to be putting a Dorito in your mouth and then a strawberry mushing it up, because that would be silly. No, what are you going to... Oh, God. What I do have, though, You've is... A I have a cloche. So I'll chew in the cud cloche. I have... <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> I have... <laughs> um, some Doritos with jam on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that lovely. was seamless. It was seamless. And I've got some squirty cream because it's uh, like cream flavour. So I was just. I don't really want to try let's, it. Let's have a lovely Dorito, Lee. The thing is, they're not even actual Doritos, they're cheap knockoffs. In, in, in yeah. your puppet. Mmm. No. That should taste sensation. I'm a fan. I don't like it. I think this should happen more often. I don't like it. It's just like toast. Toast and jam. Hmm? It's not going to be like toast. Toast and jam. Toast and jam. Toast and jam. 
jam on toast. I know. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Chewing your face off there. I don't. I don't like them. You don't like them. No. It's got an aftertaste, doesn't it? I found with the Dorito, the the bits getting my molars. Mm -hmm. And maybe I shouldn't use the cheesy Doritos. <laughs> um, Remember, you can always interact with us on social media. Just look for at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv and on YouTube, we're called Chewing the Cud. Now we've got story of the week. Okay, now this is about sports ball. Sports ball. Sports ball. You know sports. Sports ball. Like American sports ball, though. Soccer. No, American football. American football. Yeah. Um, and this is the news that the Raiders, which is a football team in America. Okay. Right. Um, Carl Nassib has come out becoming the first openly gay, active, as in playing the sport, um, player in the NFL. Well done him. Well done him. It's also slightly attractive. Just saying. Mm -hmm. um, but he posted a, 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 a coming out video on his um, Instagram. Okay. Which we've got some of now. Oh. I'm Carl Nassib. I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Um, I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. I do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate, and I'm going to start by donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project. So yeah, so not only has he come out, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's literally just said, by the way, I'm gay, I'm giving some money away. That's literally all he's done there. Um, but he's, he's thanked the, like, the coaches and the rest of the staff and just saying, look, I, I'm gay. I'm playing my, playing my game that I, I like to play, living my life. That's all I, would, I would imagine that American football in particular is very masculine. Mm -hmm. And I, like in all sports, there will be many more LGBTQI yeah. um, players. But, you know, good for, good for him. And that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks, Mike. I do... Enjoy a strong jaw on a football player. Stay with us, because after this, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. It's our job to entertain and inform. None of that is about to happen. After all, it's science, isn't it? That science, that is. So this week we're going to be talking about electricity. Isn't that a little bit dangerous? It's only dangerous if you start putting your fingers in light switches and stuff. Don't do that. It's dangerous. Oh. Um, but we're going for low voltage electricity. Oh. Because okay? we're going to be using it to survive. Like the eye of the tiger? I, um, the thingy of the fight. Yeah, yeah. If I know yeah. the lyrics, I'd be joining in. So if, imagine, if you will, there's a power power outage, Lee. Yeah. Yeah? Um, as would have happened quite often in the 70s. When I was in my mid-30s. <laughs> 50s. Um, so what would you do? You'd need to raise the alarm that you, you're there and that you, you might need help. OK. And all you can do is have things around the house. Like a phone. Oh. The electricity. Well, electricity's going out. You can't use your phone. Can you? In the 70s. Uh, well, landlines, yes, but... Yeah, that's a fl that's a flaw in your plot. Okay, you don't have a phone because it's the seventies. We just have one for the entire neighbourhood. Exactly, and everyone's queuing up for that. But you, you need assistance. So how are you going to raise assistance? We're going to open the door and go. I need assistance. That's one way. Or you could use household items to raise the alarm. Get out of yeah, town. Good. How do I okay. do that, Mike? So on on your little tray, you should have some potatoes and some tomatoes. I do, indeed. You can choose what you would like to use. Would you like to use potatoes or tomatoes? I'm going to use a potato. OK, so you don't use one, you use all of them. All of the potatoes? All of the potatoes, OK. Are we making chips? We're, we, we're not making chips because the power's out. Oh. Right? So I'm going to use some tomatoes then. And what we need to do is we need to create these lovely little fruit, love fruits, I believe the French call them. Love fruit or fruits of love, something like that. In that kind of kind of life. Is, well, they're, they're that kind of shape, so you know, it would work. Um, what we need to do is we need to to use the chemicals that are in here to create an electrical current. Now, for that, you should have some coppery bits. I have a tube. You have a tube and other little coppery bits. And I've yeah. got three little doohickeys. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you want to insert your coppery bits, mm. one each into the bit of tomato. I'm using potato. Into potato even. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just in the top? Just just in inside it. So like that. Does it need to be sticking out? A little bit needs to stick out just so you can access it. You just have to push it in. I'm going to try and put a 2p coin in mine. I'm going to ask this question though. Yeah. It's a power cut. Yeah, it is. Can't see. Well, How am I going to see to do this, Mike? Do I have, do I have you, night vision? You you have night. You've eaten all of the carrots like a good boy. I'm just you know I'm just, I'm just picking picking just, just picking holes picking in my, holes my science. In it, yeah. I know I know what you're doing, Lily. Okay, and you tell me when you, you've got all I've your. Done it. You, you've done it. Okay. And then you also have some silvery things. Silver foil. Oh, or silver Sil rings. Silver rings. Yeah. yeah. Actually, these are actually nickel. Oh. Okay. And what you need to do is force those into your potato as well. Into the potato. Into the potato. Uh, and any so particular. You're kind of giving your potato little ears like that. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So a little bit of a gap between them. Oh, these potatoes are juicy. Oh, that's good. Juice, potato, potato juice. Potato juice. What we're doing now just make them non edible. Just saying. Oh, okay. You don't need you. You can go there. No. Okay, so what you should now have are your, your lovely little taters. Mm hmm. With some ears. Yeah. Now what we need, we need to connect them up because we need to create a battery. Okay. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take some of the foil. Yeah? Yeah. Because you won't have electrical wire hanging around. No, 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 no. So what you're going to do is you're going to get those little strips of foil and squish them together so it becomes a little, little sticky kind of tube. Like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And once you've done that, you want to connect one of the, the nickel pieces to a copper piece. Okay, so I'll just go into that. A nickel piece to a... To a nickel to a copper. Oh, it's, oh, it's all gone wrong, Mike. It's all gone wrong. How's it gone wrong? Nickel bit fell out. I'll have to put it back in there. And, oh, no, let me put it. Oh. It's fiddly. Now that's gone wrong. Won't work. Okay, so you need to connect all of your nickely bits to all of your coppery bits. <sighs> this is saving your life, Lee. And I think I'd rather die. Okay. Uh, but don't complete a circle, so you want like a chain of them. Oh, God. Oh! You're not having fun there, Lee? No. It keeps falling out, Mike. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? I've done it! Oh, hang on, no, hang on. Well, I'm really stressed by it. So in your, your lovely chain, yeah, mm -hmm. which is in series. Um, we've got copper, nickel, foil as a connector to nickel to copper, and you've got nickel with foil connecting to copper and a nickel at the other end. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. Cool. Okay, so the copper, yeah, yeah, is your is your your is your live connection. Okay. Okay, and the nickel is your negative connection. Okay. Okay. Now you should have a little alarm. Is that is that this little little black buzzery roundy? Thing? Yeah. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to stroke the red one on your coppery bit and the black one on your silvery bit. Stroke it. Yeah. Just touch them. Touch them. What will happen, Mike? You'll, you'll make a noise. I think the alarm will go off. <laughs> so you can bring people. You can raise the alarm that way. <laughs> God. Wow. That that will get people running. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Good, that, isn't it? Fantastic. So you can also use it to power little clocks as well. So I've got a little digital dial here. I haven't. No, you haven't. <laughs> Can't be trusted with time. So you can just connect it up, and so you've got the time there. Wow. Set the time as well, so you know what time it is when the power's out. You'll have to pretend you know what time it is when the power's going out in the first place. Well, I perhaps would have a wristwatch on, Mike. 
Possibly. Yeah. So that's that's you generating power, which is good. But how would you start a fire with that? I just pour petrol on myself. Just pour petrol on yourself. Just light a match and call it a day. Okay. Or you could use electricity and wire wool. Really? Yeah. Now, I have to put this out there. Do not try this at home. I don't think I want to try it. No. Do not try this at home, people. So you should have a little bit of wire wool or steel, steel wool, as it's also known. Do, do I move the potato? You can move your potato battery out the way. You also have a 9-volt battery. Mm. Okay. Because you can do this with the potatoes and, and the tomatoes, but it takes a long time to wire them up. So we're cheating. And what I want you to do is very gently, very carefully, just touch the battery into the wire wool. Gently look carefully. Just, I think just, I'm going to scream. You won't scream, it's okay. Just what? Just gently? Just, and... just put the battery in the wool, gently. In there? In it, yeah. It is on fire! Take it away. Okay, so do mine now. Oh, so they've got, got a little bit of a fire going. Fire. Do mine again. So yeah, just give it a couple of little gentle taps. And it generates quite a lot of heat. Ooh, now this I like. Yeah, I thought you might. Ooh, yeah. fire burning. Yeah. Ooh. Good that, isn't it? I like that. I thought you might. Let's now, just do this. Well, so that's that's you generating heat. Yeah. That's it's the case. pretty. When you look at it, it's pretty. It's like a special effect. It is like a special effect. Okay. Now, I'm going to nip out into into the science garden to do really? something special. Oh. Go on then. What I've done there is I've, I've attached some silver to some cord. Oh, oh, nice. Tap, tapped it with a battery. And then watch. Like fireworks. Oh, what are your neighbours, were your neighbours okay with that? Because I can imagine that going horribly wrong and that molten thing flying off. <laughs> well, luckily I had someone on standby with a fire extinguisher. Oh, you did, did you? Yes. And, and I was wearing safety glasses. And my hair can't catch on fire because I don't no. have any. You're wearing the wrong kind of outfit. You should just be wearing a thong and oiled yourself up. Oiled myself up while swinging fire around. Yeah, vegetable oil. Oh, so normally will I then be covered in highly flammable liquid. Because that's, that's an act there. That's a Britain's Got Talent act. That, you could say that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, the, the, yeah, that was yeah. a nice little curtsy. Yeah, I'm a professional, not in that kind of way. But that's science, that is. That's science, that is. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.